Hey guys, Thales here and in this tutorial we will learn how to use our inventory system. On previous tutorials we learned a little bit about our controller options, we learned about the new input manager, if you can use and change the input, how to put a ragdoll into your character and we also learned about the melee manager, how to set up weapons, how to set up your hit properties and everything. Now let's add a melee combat components item manager on our player. This feature is only for the player, okay? Great, we can see that we have now a item manager and here we have a inventory prefab. If you click here, you will see that it is located here on scripts item manager prefabs it's a good practice to create a copy of your inventory and put on your project folder this way you if you mess up with this prefab you will have the original intact tutorial if you put this prefab here on the hierarchy you can see that you can customize basically everything since the layout, the, f uh, the fonts, the icons, the colors. You can replace the design for whatever you want. So your game will be more unique. Basically our inventory has the main window which we will open by pressing I or, or the button back from the joystick and you can select between these two windows right here equipments and items so let's go to the equipment inventory you will see that we have a three rows here and these two are for the melee weapons and this one is for consumable you can check this here because we call those rows equipment areas so you can have more if you want just duplicate and add another row and inside the equipment area we have equipment slots you can also change you can have more equipment slots you can have less equipment slots you can block uh, some of them by checking if it is valid or not anyways there is a, a lot of customizations you can customize this to to fit your game design the equipment slots have the eating type and we currently have the consumable melee weapon and shooter the shooter of course is for the shooter package that we are working on right now if you want to add another item type like equipment just open the script and add add your custom eating type into your equipment slots then you can create uh, other roles you can equip different types of item. Uh, here we have a equipment picker window. This will open and after we select a equip slot, it will open a equipment picker window. This will show every equipment or item that it is uh, compatible with that equipment slot. Okay. And the item window that if we go here we can see all our items here with description and we can open another window to use directly use the item drop destroy and etc enough about the prefab let's delete here because once you hit play the it manager will will create this prefab in the scene for you okay uh, what we have here, we have a eating list data. This is very important. This is very nice too. If you open the list data, it will open this little window here. You can attach to better use on your layout. And here we already have several examples, okay. items pre set up. You can create another list data here on Invector resources and new eating list data. This way you, you can have a clean eating list data and you can 
add your items okay so let's take a look here if you click on the button add item we have the item name the description the type if it is stackable and how much the limit of the stack we have the icon to show up on the, the menu we have the original object here you will assign your actual weapon the weapon that we created here created melee weapon we have of course the exam examples here weapons and this is the drop object on the on the previous version 1.3 we use the original object and the drop object as one but on the 2.0 we separate it because it's better handled this way i will show a, an example of a generic drop object that we use uh, for example here it's the collectible equipment this is the item collection there are several options here that you can put you can trigger a sound effect when you collected the the object and here it will work with your eating list data so you can select what item it, it will be in this case for the X you can live uh, without any item because it's generic uh, if you drop this X it will create this object in the scene and if you, if you collect this object, it will be 8x. And of course, if you want to use collectible items that repre represent the actual object, you can simply uh, replace the mesh for the actual x and assign here in the drop object. It's pretty simple. At the custom settings, we have equip IDs. These IDs you will find here on the upper body layer and equip weapon we have several animations of the character equipping a weapon we have from high left high right low left and low right okay so this way is pretty standard you can of course add other custom animations here and just make sure that it does it have a keep a keep item id okay um custom custom equip point this is very interesting because on version 1.3 we need to create a equip point for each weapon and in this update v2.0 we do not have to do that because we have here a default equip points on the left arm and the right arm you can check here the equip points so if you set up your weapons in a way that they are all using the forward direction just like this one the pivot of the game objects to be uh, where we want to the character to grab the weapon so if I pick up this weapon and put inside the default equip like this we can set up just the equip the default equip point to a good place here in the hand and if I delete this weapon and put another weapon it will always fit correctly this way I, I don't need to create a equip point for each weapon okay and the equip delay time this will create a little delay before it instantiates the weapon into your hand so you can synchronize with the equip animation okay uh, let's take a look into a consumable item here we have the name description if it is stackable uh, we don't need a, the original object here, but if you want to use like instantiate a little potion and, and create a animation You can do as well. Just place here uh, Here we have the attribute. This will recover 25 points of health and How do we do that? Here we have a list of attributes 
you can create an attribute and this attribute will be a int value and we will work these attributes here you can open the attribute events and here we have zero so add one you can see that a attribute uses a int value you can put the the same name of the attribute name to work with the eating list data so health and you can create your method on your character or whatever script you do you need to add here and drag and drop um, the object that has the script that will work with the attribute new name in this case we have a method on the third person controller that it is called change health so change health will access the health attributes and and it will recover my current health with 25 points okay and we also have here a tab for events close and open inventory for example when i open the inventory i don't want my character to keep walking around and i need to lock the player so i can navigate through the inventory so let's add a event here here on the melee combat input we can we can lock the input so the character will will not move when i'm navigating through the inventory okay here we also have a option to drop items when you die so for example if you you are creating a game that your character can die and you will respawn in a certain place you can return to the place you die and collect the everything that you lost you can also start the game with an item of course that this item needs to be on your eating list data you can start for example with a short katana okay if you click here you can edit this item so let's take a look i will open my inventory and equip my shark katana and my shark katana is equipped it. you will see that my default equipment point is not on the place that i want to be so let's pick it up here a little bit right here yes perfect copy the component and paste the component now let's add another eating to start here like the the x is, is fine let's keep the katana here and the x on the second slot so if i press the arrow key the right arrow key it will change the current equipment to the to the other slot and it will trigger the equip id animation that we set up on the item pretty cool huh now if you want to use a custom equip point you for example uh, for shield you don't want the shield to be on the same equip slot as the the weapons so we can go here on the left arm and create custom points new custom point let's assign here a shield equip point create cool i want my shield equipment around here and let's add here a shield and you need to go to your shield and put the same name shield equip points so let's see what happens now i will keep this shield here and okay let's fix this um. okay pretty cool huh can and keep this weapon excellent now let's keep a potion 
health up and a health potion also we have a stamina up this will increase your max stamina and the health up potion will increase your max health we don't have the attribute event so let's create one here um, it is called increase health so increase health and third place controller change max health we also have a increase stamina stamina and third place controller change max stamina so let's take a look if this works and we can see that we can drop if i drop this item it will create our generic collectible we can collect again and items use you can see that our health here is much bigger and our stamina also increase and if i go to our, my equipment i can equip a consumable here so i i don't need to pause my game to open my items window and etc you can already use this item while playing i will press the use item button and my health has recovered okay another quick reminder another quick reminder for you guys is that if you want to change the input of your inventory you can go here into the prefab and here we have the change equipment controllers change the equipment controllers are this one right here which we use a arrow right arrow we use left arrow and for the consumable we use these buttons to use the item and the down arrow to change the this lot okay here we can change the input to open the inventory and the inputs to quickly remove a equipment this is the submit button and the cancel button also we have this option to use time scale while the inventory is open so if you want to com completely stop time when you open the inventory you can leave it with zero if you want to slow down the current time you can put a value between zero and one so that was the tutorial for the inventory system hope you guys like it hope you guys create some awesome stuff and see you guys on the next tutorial